New provisions in the Inflation Reduction Act have extended tax incentives for new solar installations. Liam Healy sat down with one local solar company who says this isn't just good for your wallet, but for the entire industry as a whole. If you're planning on installing new solar panels in your home or business in 2023, you're in luck. The Inflation Reduction Act now allows you to write off 30% of the cost on your federal taxes. According to Kevin Schulte of Greensparks Solar in New York, that's just the tip of the iceberg, too. In New York, we have um, state grants uh, under the New York Sun program. We have a state tax credit available. And then you add that with the federal tax credits that are now available under the Inflation Reduction Act. Um, and you can actually get 60 or so percent, 60 or more percent of your solar system paid for by grants and incentives. According to Schulte, this is one of the longest extensions of federal tax incentives in recent memory. This doesn't just help you as the consumer, but it also helps the solar industry as a whole chart a path forward. The fact that our industry now understands its horizons for 10 years allows a different form of capital to come in behind the renewable energy industry, which allows for long-term growth, the same way that the fossil fuels industry have benefited from long-term government policies since the you know, 1920s. With a clear path ahead of them, it opens the door to have a greater impact on the local economy as well. One that Schulte thinks will help Rochester continue to succeed, including bringing new jobs and the workforce development to go with it too. GreenSpark will grow dramatically over the next decade. We're, we're currently sitting at around 100 people. We think we'll, we will, you know, over the next couple of years, we'll double and triple that number of people. And the nice part about it is we'll be doing that with high quality, well paying, purposeful jobs for people here in Rochester. Reporting in Ontario, Liam Healy, News 8.